some believe that we can even compare the dashavatara to the darwin's theory of evolution which is the first one is the matsya avatar which is a fish so something in the water and then uh, we have a turtle so like an amphibian and then the boar uh, which is like a wild beast and then fourth is narasimha which is half man and half beast so slowly uh, we can see from a simple fish it it's becoming a complex organism so uh, and then the next one is vamana vamana is supposed to be a midget so like a small human is found and then we have parashurama parashurama was uh, like a wild tribe kind of a thing more more like a tribal man ancient man and uh, who always had a axe which we can refer to the bronze age you know and then we have but after parashurama is sri rama so sri rama is what we consider as an ideal man who has all the good qualities of a perfect human being but in this world it's hard to live if you're perfect <laughs> you have to be a little bit cunning and smart so there then we have the avatar called uh, shri krishna who is a very smart guy and then from very childhood he has uh, suffered uh, he faced lot of uh, uh, what do you call uh, he faced demons and he has to participate in wars and he was instrumental in uh, in the great epic called mahabharata and he he is the one who gave the bhagavad gita to uh, arjuna a, a you know present day uh, human being so buddha avatar uh, buddha avatar even though buddhism is another religion but it has roots in hinduism so buddha avatar is something a peace loving person okay who who gave up everything in his life he was a prince so he leaves everything in the palace he leaves his wife and kids and everything all the luxuries and then he goes to the uh, uh, to the jungle and he sits under the tree and he receives enlightenment and that he is the uh, we consider him also as an avatar of vishnu and the last avatar is kalki which we believe hasn't happened yet 